Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna share my coding experience with the Keel ID and with the Eclipse based ID. Let's talk about Keel ID first. Um, about Keel ID, it is really really popular and uh, super easy to use, and you'll get uh, lots of support on the internet and it's a best choice for the beginner to start with on the other hand Eclipse ID is also very very popular and it gets you the best code editing experience and this is the best choice for the experience programmer so let's uh, compare the features uh, if you see the editor of the uh, key uh, and the appearance of the code in the keel it is like this and on the other hand same style of code would appear in Eclipse like this so it is uh, quite colorful and uh, easy to distinguish each piece of code alright let's say how to jump inside the function in keel uh, this is the normal procedure in keel if you wanna on the other hand if you wanna do same thing then this is the procedure in eclipse so as you can see in eclipse it is uh, really easy and fast you just have to hold the control key and click on the function like this okay and same thing uh, would be for variable for anum or for const okay next uh, if you wanna change the function name in whole project then it is quite tedious and difficult in keel you have to find in files and you have to replace and all I mean it's quite tedious in keel but on the other hand if you wanna let's say change the name of this function so you can simply use the search text option search in project okay and you can replace It's super easy now let's talk about the commenting method in keel uh, it is generally like this this way you do or you may need to create a shortcut but in eclipse it is quite easy just select the area and then hit control plus slash and repeat same procedure to remove control plus slash so it's kind of toggling okay again if you want to do the block command so you just have to add control plus shift plus slash and to remove control plus shift plus backslash see now let's talk about the indentation and suppose you by a mistake or uh, your code is not properly indented so in keel it is kind of difficult or so i generally people do like this or you can also create a shortcut in keel but in uh, Eclipse it is as you can see let's say I change this the indentation of each function now you can see it is not properly indented so if you wanna do it in Eclipse then you just have to hit control plus I so as you can see indentation is turned over Now let's talk about the uh, Windows uh, window docking function in K 
heal it is when it's quite difficult to talk the window I mean I don't know how to I mean you can't compare the text you can't open the uh, I think both text file or both uh, .c file or .h file in the text editor but in Eclipse it is possible like this as you can see I can see both the port and compare and if you wanna merge it again so you just have to do this okay and uh, there's a lots of option to customized if you want to change the color you can simply go in preference in text editor you can customize the color you can display the print margin you can uh, adjust the tabs value of the space so there's a lots of features uh, in the eclipse uh, which is really really helpful uh, at the time of developing a code and it is super easy to use so and same thing uh, in keel uh, it is quite uh, tedious and difficult so that's it guys uh, i hope you like this kind of eclipse based id and i suggest you to use uh, this kind of id because it saves your time and uh, it also helps you to minimize the error because most of the time when you uh, uh, write the keywords or any uh, syntax so it helps you writing the correct syntax uh, at the time of writing only so thank you guys thanks for watching i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button thank you guys bye